Hello guys, it's Andre and today I want to give you 5 tips on becoming a better archer. But more than the tips, they are the foundation of becoming a better archer. And what I mean by the foundation? The foundation is something that you build and support you, support the structure of uh, your, in this case, becoming an archer. And will support you in every situation. The tip is on the top, so we support you in certain situation. Is a technique, so the phone that if you build the foundation, you will have more use for the tip. So the first thing, guys, when you play as an archer, every hit you make is never hundred percent a guarantee hit. You are playing with luck all the time. When you shoot, you can predict when your enemy is uh, is gonna make the move where he's gonna go but you will never 100% be sure of what he's doing. So your aim is to push the holes or every shot to the maximum limit. So make every shot the best you can, but not expecting every shot to hit or you will, have, you will be frustrated. And that will put you in a mentality that will deteriorate your playing style and everything else you're doing on the Another important thing is awareness. Awareness is knowing where the enemies are, what's happening on the battlefield, and I often change to third person because I can see where are the enemies and I can move where I want without being taken from behind and things like that. Awareness is also listening to the sounds of the enemy, footsteps, people screaming, where are the battles, and things like that. But here comes the perception. And I love this quote about Haytam and an Assassin's Creed 3. Perception is fundamental to the order. It's got the feet where running and climbing. Informs the hand when fighting and striking. And that's 100% true because your perception will tell you what to do in every situation. And you have to train your perception on the battlefield by playing. The third tip I want to give you is to stick always with one weapon because you will memorize the projector speed, how much you have to lead when shooting, when to, how the movement speed will be when uh, shooting with a type of bow or crossbow and many, many other things. And if you switch with another weapon, you switch always because uh, you feel like it, you will never be a master at one weapon because you have to always change your play style, always change what you're doing. And it gets time. So I suggest you always play with one weapon. The last thing, guys, is a common thing that happens to everybody. is being cornered by three enemies. And let's say in your mind you say, okay, I'm screwed, I can do anything against them. Blah blah blah, and all the negative stuff. You have to avoid that. You have to stay positive. If you stay positive, you might be able to do something that will surprise everyone, killing three enemies. And if you don't kill them, you might kill one of them and make them lose time. Maybe another ally will come to your help and things like that. But the positive attitude is one of the most important things in games and in lives. It can change how you perceive the battlefield and how you play. Thanks guys for watching and see you the next time.